China's foreign minister has told ministers from Arab and Islamic countries that the world must act urgently to stop the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Diplomats are in Beijing hoping international powers, including China, will pressure Israel into accepting a ceasefire. The group also wants help in speeding up the delivery of humanitarian aid to Palestinians. Katrina Yu joins us now live from Beijing. So what's the delegation's main message, Katrina? Well, the international, uh, the delegation's message to the international community is that it must act now to, quote, shoulder the responsibility to end Israel's indiscriminate bombing of the Gaza Strip. That was the words of the Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabian foreign minister. And this from the Palestinian foreign minister, who is also part of this delegation, said that he came to China to discuss the barbaric crimes against the Palestinian people and Israel's violation of the two-state solution. Overall, this delegation is calling for an immediate ceasefire, more humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip, and a genuine political process that will lead to a durable, long-standing peace in the region. Now, this group, which also includes officials from Jordan, Egypt, and Indonesia, met with China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi this morning in Beijing, and they're really trying to uh, uh, meet with officials who represent countries who are members of the United Nations Security Council, and their overall goal here is for these countries and uh, to add to the pressure on Western nations who support Israel and its actions uh, that have been committed in the name of self-defense. And how, Katrina, has Beijing responded? What's its stance towards the war? Well, Wang Yi has responded this morning saying that he agrees that the time is now for the international community to act to end the humanitarian disaster that is currently happening in Gaza. He says that China fully supports a two-state solution and that it will continue to work towards restoring peace in the region. Now, since the fighting began all these weeks ago, Beijing has been quite consistent in its message. It's called for an urgent ceasefire, uh, more humanitarian aid, the ending and de-escalation of hostilities and the protection of civilians in the Gaza Strip. Uh, China's foreign ministry has been quite careful not to directly criticize Israel, although we did have China's foreign minister Wang Yi weeks ago say that Israel's actions there had gone beyond the scope of self-defense. Now, while Beijing has been quite measured in its words, we do have to look at what has not been said and the actions conveyed during this meeting. China really embraced this delegation. It was really a warm welcome uh, for all of these officials. And for years, China has... Uh, said that it has stood very closely with, and in friendship with the Palestinian people. So it's hoped that this warm welcome will be quite symbolic mm. and create some positive momentum for this delegation, as Beijing uh, is quite an influential uh, world power, especially among uh, developing nations and aging, Asian countries. Okay. Katrina, you bring us the lines there from Beijing. Thanks very much, Katrina.